Hey everyone, today I wanted to give you some first impressions and swatches of the new Kat Von D palette. This is called the Spillbinding Eyeshadow Book, and so there's 24 shades in here. I'm going to show you some swatches, just talk about the colors really quickly, and we'll talk about the packaging. This palette retails for $55, and you can find it at Sephora. It currently is not out on display, or at least at my store, but what you can do is just go in and ask for it, and they'll pull it from the back. And the cover is actually Kat Von D's art and so she drew this and I love the details I think this is just beautiful and when I purchased it I just sat in my car and I just looked at all the details of like the shading and the fine lines and it's just it's beautiful I really don't plan to get rid of this box because I just I really appreciate that art so this is what the box looks like that's the front of it it does have 24 shadows that are 1.4 grams each so I feel like you get a really nice amount of product in there and then the back just shows you what some of the colors look like. So that's what that looks like. I also wanted to let you know that some of the colors have asterisks on them. And what that means is that they are completely new shades. So they haven't been released before. They are completely new. And as we go along with the swatches, I'll let you know what shades those are. So that is the box. Okay, now for the actual palette, the front of it looks like this. Again, it has her artwork in there. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is beautiful. And it's very nice and thin, so it's going to be great for storage. And then the back of it just gives you an example of how you can use this palette. So the idea behind this is that you're supposed to take this pair of eyeshadows and use them together. Of course, like with everything else, you can mix them and create your own look. You can do whatever you want with this palette, but that's just a suggestion and a guideline. So that's what the back looks like. And again, that is the side and this is the front. Okay, so the way that this opens up is you flip it open from the bottom up. So it opens up like this and you can fold it over if you wanted to. The inside of it has a quote by Kat Von D and then it gives you some ideas for some looks. So it gives you like the natural look and what colors to wear and how to wear them. Then there's another look called the After Hours and then there's one called the Spellbinder, which is the deepest of the three. So, and then it has a quote by her that says, every day I create eye looks like a piece of art. I paired my favorites with brand new shades so you can layer for endless captivating looks and then it has her signature on it. So that's the inside and then you flip it over and it has a plastic cover on it and it does have the name of the eyeshadows on there. Now I tried to film this video a little while ago and I nicked a lot of these eyeshadows unfortunately but this sleeve again does have the names of the eyeshadows on there and you'll see the asterisk which again indicates completely new shades. And if I guess if I had to pick one thing apart, it would be that I'd rather the shades be on the actual palette themselves. But it's not really a deal breaker for me, so it's not the biggest deal. And you can also fold this over so that you use the palette like this. So if you wanted to just work from it like this, you totally could. So there are six rows and there are four shadows in each row. And again, the idea is that you're supposed to use the two eyeshadows that are together as a pair or for your look. But do whatever you want with it. So let me just show you really quick what the palette looks like. Hopefully, yeah, there we go. So these are the shades right there. I nicked this one pretty bad, which makes me really upset. So let's go ahead and get into swatches and then I will let you know when there is a new shade. So we're gonna go across, that's kind of the order that we're gonna go in. And the first shade is Dark Throne. And these are very pigmented and I would say this is more of like a very deep charcoal gray. This is a newer shade and then the next shade next to it is Precious and that's more of a champagne shade. The next one over is Babe and it's more of a purple, very Urban Decay-ish. And then the next shade is a new shade and that one is called Piaf or Piaf. I have no idea how to pronounce this. I don't know, it definitely has some gray in it. So. These are the first four shades on the first row across. And I'll swatch them on my hand. I don't have any primer on here, so you'll be able to see what they look like without primer. And of course, I'm sure with primer, they would be fantastic. So just keep that in mind. So these are the four. You get two mattes and two shimmers. Okay, the next row is this one that we're going into. And this first shade is called Sunset Boulevard. It Sunset Boulevard. It is a gold. 
And the next one is 8-Bit. That is a new shade. And this is more of a kind of like a peacock, like a peacock turquoise, I guess. It's kind of like a blue-green. Very, very pretty shade. So those are the first two. The next two are Geek and Fallen. And Geek is a new shade. And it's more of a very kind of like a neutral, very soft, like a soft peach, I would say. And then Fallen is more of a bronzy gold. So that is the second row right there. Okay, and there they are. This one right here, this peach, is more, I would say, of like a satin. Okay, the next row, um, let's see here, is this one right here. So this is the next row that we're going into from here to here. The first shade is Holy Bible, and that is more of a like icy, kind of like an icy silver, I would say. And then the next one is Odd Fellow, which when you look at it, I don't know if you're going to pick up all the shimmer, but it is a black with a like blue and purple sparkle in there, kind of like a like a little bit of glitter. So you'll be able to you should be able to pick it up. So those are those two. The next two are Birdcage and Gunner. And Birdcage is kind of like this really bright lime green. And then Gunner is a deep like forest green with lots of shimmer in there as well. And I think if you were to put down a really good primer and then pat this color and this color on your lid, not necessarily together, but I feel like the shimmer would just be absolutely gorgeous. So that is the third row. So this one again is Holy Bible, Odd Fellow, Birdcage, and Gunner. This one does not look very pigmented, but I think if you were to pat it on again with a base, it would look really nice. But initially, it's not coming off very pigmented. Okay, next we're getting into the fourth row, and these right here, let's see, from here to here, these are the eyeshadows that we are going to be swatching. So the first one is Instaglam, and it is a new shade, and it is a frosty pink. The next one is more of a cranberry, and it's called Stupid Autocorrect. How many times have we said that? I've said that many, many times. And yeah, it's definitely more of a cranberry color. So those are the first two. And they're both new shades. The next one is Galore. And Galore is like a very pale kind of gold, like a yellow gold. Very, a lot of yellow in that one. And then the next shade is Hexagram, which is a new shade. And that's more of your olive green. So again, this one is Instaglam, Stupid Autocorrect, Galore, and Hexagram. The only one that is not new is this one. Okay, and there are those swatched beautiful colors. Okay, so this is the next row that we are getting into from this shade right here over to this one. So this is the next one we're swatching. The first shade is called Smile Now. It is a new shade and it's like a pale orange, kind of like a sherbet color. The next one is Cry Later. This is also a new shade and it's a deep brown with some very slight shimmer in there. The next one is a pale, kind of like a lavender, like an icy lavender, and this one is called Arcadia. It is also a new shade. And the last one is Wonderland, and that is more of a plum color. It's a deep plum. So this one, again, is Smile Now, a new shade. Cry Later, which is new. Arcadia, which is new. And Wonderland. Okay, so there are those shades right there. Now we've arrived at the very last row, and I'm sorry that I have nicked these so bad, especially this first color, because I love it. But this is the row, the next row that we are swatching. Okay, the first one is Queen. This is a new shade, and it's kind of like a deep brown gray taupe color. So there it is there. 
the next one is Bukowski and what is this color like teal I don't know it's a blue it's a blue shade the next one is Countess and this is more of your like kind of bone ivory color great highlight shade and then the last one is WTF and it is more of a red I don't know it's a red it's not like a straight up red but kind of like a red cranberry I guess I'm not too sure how to describe that so those are the four let me tell you the names again really quick Queen which is a new color Bukowski Countess and WTF oh my gosh I love Queen Queen looks like one of those like multi-dimensional colors there is Queen right there and you can barely see the highlight shade because it's almost close to my skin tone and then that's kind of the red one so there are those and let me just show you the other ones really quick all right so those are some swatches and Honestly, like I said, I really feel like these are going to be even more pigmented if you were to use a primer, but they are very, very soft and creamy. They look and swatch like they're very blendable. And I don't have an issue with any of the shades. I don't know. I think the shades that I would probably get the least use out of is that black with kind of the purple and blue shimmer, this one right here, and maybe that green right there. So I think there is just a really nice variety of neutrals, basics, and just great colors. They feel super, super soft. And I really feel like the cost of the palette being $55 for 24 eyeshadows is a really, really great value. And I just love how slim it is and how compact it is. I love the artwork. So I personally am very, very happy to own this palette. I, typically, I feel like when you purchase something new, you kind of like are like, mm, I don't know, I, this may have to go back or I don't know, we'll play with it. I don't feel that way. I feel like I'm really going to love this palette and I'm going to get a lot of use out of it because of the variety and the quality just seems like it's really good. So if this is something that you're interested in, then definitely wait for Sephora to have it out on display and then just go swatch it for yourself because it's the only true way to find out if it's for you or not. See the colors in person, play with it a little bit, but I would say jump on it because it's a great, great palette. And this is limited edition, by the way. So I hope that you enjoyed this little review and hopefully found the swatches a little bit helpful. If you have any questions or if there's anything that I didn't address or if you have any comments, as usual, leave them down below. And I will see you in the very next video. Bye.